folks so for due to popular demand we are back with the hyena hitman or steve kill um, steve what have we got going today buddy uh, we have a urgent report of uh, hyenas eating cattle uh, consistently and uh, coming into the village every single night so we're rushing out there to see what we can do about it so this particular scenario is only one hour from the main city so it's really close to town we're actually making a bit of a road trip of this so it won't be only one one uh, one scene that we're going to we're going to do a couple of scenes in a row so yeah yeah we're gonna see what we have to do if you have to set up in a couple of spots over a couple of nights uh, we've got to make it happen uh, the last thing you want is another family to be attacked by hyenas unfortunately that's all too common but we're trying to stop it before it happens well i'm excited uh, i hope i do a little bit better than i did last time a little bit slow on the trigger but uh, we want to be careful we want to be methodical want to get the job done and uh, most importantly do not miss andrew yes so we've also got alex and the ranger with us national parks ranger herbert. and herbert yeah so herbert over here alex over there um, so yeah, the National Parks Ranger will be making sure we do everything above board and that everything is uh, by the law and Alex will be helping us set up. Steve is obviously the man in charge. I am here gathering some experience. So yeah, very, very, very excited. Let's see what happens. Yeah, definitely. This is a must for any hyena hunting adventure. It's called Dragon and uh, it's probably illegal in 90% of the nations of the world. But uh, gives you a lot of energy. It's a Red Bull on steroids. If you drink this, you say whoop, whoop. Like what, what, what noise does hyena make? Uh, wee you. <laughs> oh, wee you. Whoop, <laughs> whoop. Yes, my dear. Hello. Hello, yes. boss. How are you? Fine. And you? Good. Nice that you are here. Oh, We've right. come to save you from sure, sure. the Aina Queen. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much for ah, nice one. making nice such an effort. Right. Ah, mm -hmm. yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. This side is a good thing. It's 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 a good thing. Sure. Imangani kuno. Nepa pa mama e pras kumberi kwa chuku. Takarua thirteen in zimbo wani. Thirteen. Yeah. Ah. Abu. Ari kumwa kubakwa. Vesalis. Mhm. Yeah. Oya opa. The 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 Ashton. 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 Yeah. Rainbow bana apa. Mhm. Annex. Basalt. Even basalt. Sure. Kumiru. Yeah. Ari kusika futi. Ari asiduru kubani zimbo wani. Yeah. Same same direction here. Because how did, how did the sound? You we. Yeah, what's it go? Eh. Eh. Okay. Yes, and so and the one I'm more fake as smart as you. More politician, eh? No, I'm not. More business. Yeah. Ah, uh, businessman. Yes. <laughs> Thanks, Roy. Same travel. He looks like a politician. No, no. <laughs> bye bye. Bye, see you. Bye. So, we're off, Steve. We've got yeah. some, some good news here, eh? Ah, very good. The guy said they know where the den is, so. Just wait. Wait, 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 wait. 
I need to take, take a photograph of the car. Yes. Take me out, take you. You will also take me. <laughs> yes. Fine. <laughs> thank you. <laughs> right, so, thank you. To show you where it says lodge, we've shot Aina there already. Okay. So we're going, we're actually going in that direction where I've shot before. Okay. Good. So, yeah. Promising. Very, very positive that. We are going towards it. So the, the three main ingredients you need for Highness to feel secure is going to be obviously cover where they stay, permanent food source which is all of your livestock that we've seen already and then permanent water is key. That's what, what they look for when they try to hold the territory in any given area. So passing that dam, it's winter now, so passing that dam and seeing the level of water is obviously a permanent water source where the Highness know they can always access water. So it's an important piece of the puzzle that we've just discovered here. Do it! Hello, puppies! Hello, how are you? ชมเอ่อมาเปเรนุนิตสิงไกท์เยอะรู้มั้ยเยอะบัตเตอร์จีเยอะบัตเตอร์บูดซีเนมอมเปเนมะควายอืมมั่งกันอ่าโมดันท
but from the amount of cattle being killed, it definitely seems like spotted. So we'll see what happens. Right guys, our primary shooter tonight, hopefully will be Andy. He's going to be using the XQ35 Pulsar, the Thermion 2 with a rangefinder. It's mounted on a 338 wind mag with uh, full, full power loads. Uh, like I said, these products are very good at handling recoil and that's why we're using them. So hopefully we get a bit of footage and some shots on the Pulsar tonight. We're going to do something different. We're going to be shooting off of shooting sticks. These are in particular the Fly's Eye shooting sticks from African Sporting Creations. As you can see, it's a very steady setup. So we're going to see how well Andy fares tonight using the shooting sticks as opposed to from shooting on top of the blind. Again, 300 wind mag, uh, swift A-frame bullets as normal. I just wanted to show you how quick and easy it is to make this weapon light capable with a front attachment. It's as, it's as quick as this. You get it into position, pull it back, ready to rock and roll. It's that fast to make this thing night capable. So that's the Pulsar night vision, not thermal, the night vision front clip-on unit with the adapter. So this thing has got out to 500 yards uh, on full moon. I've got an IR boost underneath. Basically, it's unlimited. If I can see the hyena, I should be able to put it down. So very good setup, a long range weapon. These things can handle a heavy caliber. That's why we've got it on the 300 wind mag. So let's see what happens. Right, folks, you can see us. We can't see you. Almost time to call, but we got sound. This is a classic African travel way. Here we have a gentleman, one leg in the vehicle, one leg out. Maybe the rest of the vehicle's full. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> Oh, yeah. Okay. All right. 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 Ask a man and drive further and ask the next man. So, never know what can happen with this. Uh, it's not always guaranteed, but we'll see what happens. Tiripo, Magadio. Tiripo. Nyae, Mapere, Agamirasi. I'm going to find my son, and I'm going to find my son. I'm going to find my son. I'm going to find my son. I'm going to find they saying that very common that I pointed out is actually dead. Mm, I know, I heard that. Good. Yeah, but it is common over here. Two farmers, they would be sugar from Maga village. The people that were talking to, they say that they hear the hyenas calling as early as 6 p.m., which is just on dark. The other thing is in the hills on the top, you can see the boulders, which means there's got to be some dens where these hyenas are hiding. So, so far, the information is positive. You just got to find a good call spot. I got one ampoo and those two are done up to for a danga. Or to pin them dango, so shampoo, the other one is somewhere. Danga, 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 dan
So that lady was saying that the, the hyenas grab the goats out of this, this uh, pen right here and they've done a patch job to fix it. So <laughs> So you can see where the hyenas have ripped the wire off this goat pen. So I got a good feeling about tonight. I'm gonna go find the call spot and get set up. Looks like it we might be in. Let's up. We're doing, our, we're doing our victory lap before we start. Yeah, we're just having a look around. <laughs> this is our victory lap. Hang on. Let's see if we can score a goal tonight with smoking some miners. Let's have a look. But there's houses here. There's houses right behind the goal. We're going to have to be careful how we shoot. That's the Oaks Yeah. Eh? This is our goal post. <laughs> there's some houses on the left. Now this is going to be quite bizarre if we actually smoke some in the... Gonna be crazy. The view is actually in the soccer field. Hills, so. nah, the bush is thick. If you wound one here, you're gonna have issues. <coughs> yeah, I think here's our here's our goals. Right, and we're just gonna clear behind the goal uh, into that field in case some very clever hyenas come in. Then. Uh, Sometimes I have a habit of standing far off to try and have a look what's going on. Uh, if that happens, then we'll do another long shot like I did last time. The last time was 251 meters. We prefer not to take long shots, but if that's the only option, then that's what we'll have to do. So they're going to clean so that we have a visual going all the way down. In the background, you can see the gomo that they say the den is in. So we're going to try to draw them in in this direction, so at least you know where they're coming from. So these guys came for soccer practice and now they're helping us clear the area. Tonight again, we're using the 300 wind mag. Uh, we have the Pulsar front attachment unit on here, the 445, where it makes any gun night capable, a very good unit. On the 308, we've got their new Dijex unit. Uh, very, very sensitive and an excellent option also for shooting at night. It has its own uh, proprietary IR booster on the front as well for extreme dark. Both of them are night vision. We won't be using thermal today. But there's absolutely nothing wrong with the night vision units from Pulsar, so that's why we're using them tonight. They're coming now, they're directly behind the speakers, they're coming through on the pathway. Directly behind the speakers, coming in. Coming in. Shall I try or not yet? Right from proposed. Shall I try? Right, it's coming in. We've got a good shot, it's smoking. Hit him. Hit him, it's spinning. Spinning, spinning, spinning. we got to find him. Ah, he's, he's in the grass there. He's down. I reckon. Another one coming in. Same spot, coming in. He's in the field. He's in the field. And I'm coming. Yeah, he's in the field. Wait, wait, wait for him to stop. stop. Oh, double tapped him. <laughs> we double tapped him. 
Right, folks. Well, as you can see, uh, the hyena hitmen have been successful again. And uh, Steve, looks like we might have scored a goal here. Yeah, a couple, eh? <laughs> yeah, in, no. in the soccer pitch of all places. Yeah, very big hyenas. The very big hyenas, just so you know, uh, these village hyenas get a lot bigger than uh, like valley hyenas, for instance. So if you look at the size compared to us, I mean, these things are huge. I'm not standing far behind it. The foot is tickling me, so you can see. But yeah, they're very big, eh? No, awesome. It looks like we got a, got a, well got done. a job done here. Well done, guys. Well done, yeah. Tim, good job, buddy. Thanks a lot, eh? Yeah, well done. Good calling from the scanner there. Um, yeah, we had a couple of good shots. The last one we double tapped, bang bang, and he. Yeah, you'll see on the footage. He didn't go far, and both of his shots are right on the shoulder as well. So the village should be very happy that uh, we've got rid of a couple of them. Very cool stuff, and uh, yeah. Hopefully, just keep doing it. Yeah, hopefully we see you for the next episode of Hyena Hitmen. Bang bang. <laughs>